Good afternoon, fans. Today is Friday, August 30th, and this is Junior Viking Day. Good afternoon, fans. Links. I'm Sydney, and I'm Ashley. Here's the news for today. Monday, September 2nd, there will be no school due to observation for Labor Day. Tuesday, September 3rd, will be an optional school day. Now remember, if you are missing grades, this day is really not optional for you. Yes, this day will be a makeup day for any students who have fallen behind on their schoolwork. The help desk is open every morning from 8 a.m. until 11 a.m. It, it will be closed from 11 to 12.40 p.m. and it will reopen at 12.40. If you still have your summer reading books, you need to turn them into the library pronto. Hey Sydney, do you have anything planned for Labor Day? Yeah, do you? Yeah, I'm going to the beach. What about you? Oh cool, I'm going to Georgia to visit some family. That's well, according to a student poll, here's the top 10 list of favorite things to do on Labor Day. Number 10, sleep play. Number 9, watch either a marathon of Friends or The Office. Number 8, Take a trip with your parents. Number seven, go watch a ball game. Number six, go to the drive-in. Number five, play a sleepover. Number four, have a date night. Number three, on water activities like boating or tubing. Number two, Movie with friends. And number one, go to the pinnacle. Up next is Sydney with today's sports roundup. What's going on, Vance? I'm Sydney, and this is today's sports roundup. There are no sports for today, but when we get back on Wednesday the 4th, our Vance Junior Viking football team will be having a game against Crockett at home at 5.30. Also, our girls' soccer team will be having a game at T.A. Duggar at 6 o'clock. All right, VMS, that's all for today. I'm Sydney with today's Sports Roundup. Now back to Sydney and Ashley. Here is Kaylee and Abby with today's special report. How many of you have noticed this wonderful piece of literary art in the library? I know I have. Today I will be reporting from the library with the creator of this work of art, Mrs. Winston. Did you purchase or make the book? Well, I actually purchased it. I had seen um, books done like this on Pinterest and I was kind of interested as someone who loves books and so I started doing some research and uh, and found them on Amazon for sale. Uh, what was your inspiration on making this book? Really I, just Pinterest and the fact that I thought it was so cool how it you know spells out the word read and they actually you can do different words um, but since it's in the library I wanted to use read. Okay how did you know what pages to fold? Well that's the secret. So this is actually a book. It's a copy of a book called Jane Eyre by an English artist, Charlotte Bronte. Um, so you could actually just read the book cover to cover like you would any other book. But there's a little trick to this one. Um, when you start looking at the pages, you will notice that some of the pages have these gray markings on them. Those markings are printed on top of the words so that when you fold the pages, each one, and you have to be very, very precise and fold it exactly along the line and get a good sharp edge. When you do it through the whole book, you end up with this word. Well, that is very interesting. It is. It was a lot of fun. Uh, uh, how long did it take you to make this book? Well, uh, Miss Stiltner, the library assistant and I, she had worked on it on and off for about three weeks. Just whenever one of us would have a few minutes, we would fold a couple of pages. And it just kind of went on like that for, for about three weeks, so. Uh, do you plan on making any more books like this? Like this? I would really love to, actually. I should get another one and do another one because it was really a lot of fun. Okay. Uh, what would you think would be your next project? I'm really not sure, but I do know if somebody wanted to do this and you couldn't go buy a book, you know, afford to go buy one of these that I bought that had the, the lines printed, 
that there are a lot of good inspirational ideas out there on the internet and especially on Pinterest where you don't necessarily have to spell out a word. You could just form it to make a different shape or things like that. So it, it's really something fun you could do with maybe an old textbook that you find somewhere. Uh, just, you know, an old book that's kind of worn out that you can't read anymore. You could still, you know, kind of experiment with folding it to make different kinds of things. So after I made this one, I was kind of interested in learning about how to do some more things with, uh, with old books. So, of course, I bought some books to tell me how to do it. So, I, uh, I bought this one. It's in the library. It's called the Repurpose Library. But it has pages and pages of different crafts that you can do with old books. So it's like, here's a great wreath that you could make. And then I also bought... Um, bought this one called Folded Book Art, which also has lots of great instructions and ideas and things that you can do from weaving old books to creating all sorts of, of different projects. So these are available in the library. If you're interested, come up and check them out. I'm Kaylee reporting for VMS News. It's time for birthdays with Ellie. And today on Friday the 30th, there will be no birth date. But those celebrating a birthday over the holidays are Amira Wilson on the 1st, Peyton Figgins on the 2nd, Amanda Hunts, Gracie Overstreet, Lydia Terry, and Layla Thompson on the 4th. Happy birthday! That's all the news for today. I'm Sydney. And I'm Ashley. Have a fabulous Friday.